Hey YouTube, this is Mike. Coming at you, I'm looking at my 40 volt um, cobalt electric mower. Um, so it is doing a lot of cutting off. So after watching a few videos uh, and doing some online research, came down to having to open it up. All right, so I've already skipped forward to some of the other work. Um, some of the things that go wrong here, there is a, with these wires right here and the handle break off. So I'm making sure that I got good connection here and here. This has changed uh, styles from being tabs on both sides to this side is now a screw on. There is a diagram on the inside and um, there is a switch here. So when this is in, there's another piece in the handle. When you push the button down, when you push the button, it turns around and makes that connection to uh, initiate the start. So you can start. So you have a start button, then you pull the switch. Um, to get access to this thing, you're just gonna need a set of torque bits. Uh, you can, unless you got uh, at least a four inch um, set of torques, you might not be able to reach some of the other screws. There are two here, which are underneath the stickers. There are two more down in here, which I needed the drivers for because the drill wouldn't reach. Okay. And then, um, underneath here, there are two, there are two more under, underneath the, sorry, for the bad shot. Oop. There are two more underneath in which you have to remove the motor from the body. Um, the... Taking the blade off was fairly simple. It's a 15 millimeter nut. Please block the blade so you don't hurt yourself. It wasn't overly torqued down, but if yours has been uh, through the ringer and kind of rusted together, you might might take something to, um, to break through that rust. The So then you're taking off, um, once you take that blade off, you'll take the other piece you end up taking off four bolts uh, from underneath. Those are also torques. And then the motor comes right on off. Um, inside, uh, some videos say that the spring on the inside of this, there's two springs underneath here to help eject the battery. They said they pulled one out and they didn't have any more problems. If I don't have to break this thing, I won't. Um, and then, we have a kill switch here. I, I did find that inside, my motor turns very easily, but this piece here, this module, I just kind of wedged it in there so the microwave was sitting, was loose in here. So I'm gonna be checking that, and making sure that these, uh, there's a, this fuse and stuff are, are good. Um, because I have a feeling that this coming loose inside the body might have been the issue. Um, but this video is not so much about the fix, but what I have in, if you're looking to see what's in what's inside your 40 volt uh, cobalt mower. Um, I did see a test on these motors these motors have 12 coils in them, can go up to 12,000 RPM given enough power. Um, and they will, uh, you definitely need high gauge wires uh, to do that in a good voltage controller if you wanna go up to the speeds like that. Uh, people are using those motors for go-karts, um, electric bikes and scooters. So very, uh, very cool uh, that you can repurpose once 
the body or whatever rusts out on this thing. Uh, so I'll be checking these and going back. I'm just having an inconsistent uh, delivery of power, but no binding, no anything like that. Uh, really like this mower. As a matter of fact, if the body, in the meantime, if the body is still uh, in good shape, uh, I might just throw the gas mower engine on here if the bolts if the bolts line up. That way, I can at least get my yard cut. So, uh, but uh, I'd rather not do that. So, I hope this kind of gives you an idea of what's all inside here for um, for safety. This is that like fuse break. As you can see, I got a forty amp. 40 amp fuse here. These are some fairly uh, small wires. There was a recall on uh, electronics for these. Uh, these in Greenworks. Uh, 2014 to 2016, I think is what they had listed there. There was 28,000 uh, mowers that were um, recalled. They sent out the new, they, they, they had them new boards and stuff to prevent fire. There was only like 12 fires actually reported um, and no injuries, that type of thing. But I don't believe this one falls into that category. Uh, it was bought in 2021, 22, 22. Um, unfortunately, my kids keep leaving it outside and they're done with it instead of taking care of things the way they should. So, um, but there you go. Maybe I'll do a follow-up if I figure out what, what exactly it was.